Bartholomew vs. the Wheel is quite a unique Warner Brothers cartoon. It's very dissimilar to a lot of the others, and I have to say it's rather sweet. This is a cartoon from 1964, directed by Robert McKimson and written by John W. Dunn. And it's narrated by Leslie Barringer, and we have Mel Blanc as Bartholomew, and Bartholomew is a dog. The narrator is actually a young boy who owns the dog. And the narrator tells the story of how Bartholomew's tail was once run over by um, a wheel, and he hated wheels after that and would bite wheels. But one day he bites a wheel that takes him very far away, and I won't say any more than that. But he has to learn the lesson that his hatred has put him into a very difficult situation. And I'm reading into this that the message is if you harbour this hate and you really hold on to this hatred, it could lead you to some pretty disastrous situations. So it's better to let go of that hate and maybe even embrace the thing that you thought you hated because in the long run, you'll be better off. But on the surface, it's a very sweet and slightly entertaining, well, very entertaining, slightly funny narrative that I thought was rather adorable. The animation quality is very rough around the edges, particularly for 1964. It's actually not the sharpest and not the best quality in terms of the animation. But because the story is so interesting and the, the narrator is really easy to listen to, I didn't mind that so much. So I rather liked it. Bartholomew vs. The Wheel is not at all what I was expecting. And I think because of that, I rather enjoyed it. If you're a fan of Warner Brothers, I think you'll like it. But it doesn't necessarily feel like it's got the Warner Brothers stamp on it. Particularly for, for the content they were creating at this point in the 60s. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's nice to shake things up every now and again. And this is what we get with Bartholomew vs. The Wheel. I thought it was sweet and I really enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out and let me know what you think. I thought it was a nice story with a good message. At least that's my personal reading of it. Not the best animation quality, but as an occasional thing, I can let that slide. Bartholomew vs. The Wheel is very surprising. And I think for the right reasons.